Question 1. What is the purpose of Amazon VPC flow logs in AWS networking? A. To analyze traffic patterns within an Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, VPC. B. To encrypt data transmissions between Amazon EC2 instances. C. To route traffic between different AWS regions. D. To automate the deployment of AWS networking resources. The correct answer is A. To analyze traffic patterns within an Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, VPC. Explanation. Amazon VPC flow logs allow you to capture information about the IP traffic going to and from network interfaces in your Amazon VPC. This information can be used for various purposes, including troubleshooting, security analysis, and compliance auditing. Question 2. Which AWS service provides scalable and highly available domain name system, DNS, resolution? A. Amazon Route 53. B. Amazon CloudFront. C. Amazon VPC. D. Amazon Route 52. The correct answer is A. Amazon Route 53. Explanation. Amazon Route 53 is a scalable and highly available domain name system, DNS, web service provided by AWS. It allows you to register domain names, route traffic to AWS resources, such as EC2 instances and load balancers, and manage DNS records dynamically. Question 3. In AWS networking, what is the purpose of an Internet Gateway, IGW? A. To provide private connectivity between VPCs. B. To enable communication between an Amazon VPC and the Internet. C. To manage traffic between different AWS regions. D. To secure communication between on premises data centers and AWS. The correct answer is B. To enable communication between an Amazon VPC and the Internet. Explanation An Internet Gateway, IGW, is a horizontally scaled, redundant, and highly available AWS component that allows communication between instances within an Amazon VPC and the Internet. Question 4. Which AWS service provides a fully managed network address translation, NAT, service? A. Amazon Route 53. B. Amazon VPC. C. Amazon NAT Gateway. D. Amazon CloudFront. The correct answer is C. Amazon NAT Gateway. Explanation. Amazon NAT Gateway is a fully managed network address translation, NAT, service provided by AWS. It allows instances within a private subnet in an Amazon VPC to access the Internet or other AWS services while preventing inbound traffic from initiating connections with those instances. Question 5. In AWS networking, what is the purpose of a network access control list, NACL? A. To manage access to Amazon S3 buckets. B. To restrict traffic at the subnet level. C. To enable cross-region communication within an Amazon VPC. D. To secure communication between AWS and on-premises networks. The correct answer is B. To restrict traffic at the subnet level. Explanation. A network access control list, NACL, is an optional layer of security for your Amazon VPC that acts as a firewall for controlling traffic at the subnet level. It allows you to create rules that explicitly allow or deny traffic based on IP addresses, subnets, and protocols. Question 6. Which AWS service provides a scalable and fully managed database service that supports both SQL and NoSQL databases? A. Amazon RDS. B. Amazon DynamoDB. C. Amazon Redshift. D. Amazon Neptune. The correct answer is A. Amazon RDS. Explanation. 
Amazon Relational Database Service, RDS, is a fully managed database service provided by AWS that supports several popular relational database engines, including MySQL, PostgreSQL, MariaDB, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL Server. Question 7. What is the purpose of Amazon CloudFront in AWS networking? A. To provide scalable and highly available DNS resolution. B. To enable secure communication between on-premises networks and AWS. C. To accelerate the delivery of content to end users with low latency. D. To manage traffic routing between different AWS regions. The correct answer is C. To accelerate the delivery of content to end users with low latency. Explanation. Amazon CloudFront is a content delivery network, CDN, service provided by AWS that accelerates the delivery of web content to end users by caching copies of content closer to the user's location. Question 8. Which AWS service provides scalable and highly available object storage with industry-leading durability? A. Amazon S3 B. Amazon EBS C. Amazon Glacier D. Amazon EFS The correct answer is A. Amazon S3 Explanation Amazon Simple Storage Service, S3, is a scalable and highly available object storage service provided by AWS. It offers industry-leading durability, availability, and performance for storing and retrieving any amount of data from anywhere on the web. S3 is commonly used for a wide range of use cases, including website hosting, data backup, content distribution, and application data storage. Question 9. Which AWS service provides a fully managed container orchestration service for deploying and managing containerized applications? A. Amazon ECS B. Amazon EKS C. Amazon EC2 D. AWS Lambda. The correct answer is B. Amazon EKS. Explanation. Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, EKS, is a fully managed container orchestration service provided by AWS. It allows you to deploy, manage, and scale containerized applications using Kubernetes, an open source container orchestration platform. Question 10. What is the purpose of AWS Direct Connect in AWS networking? A. To provide a dedicated network connection between an on-premises data center and AWS. B. To distribute content to end users with low latency using edge locations. C. To automate the deployment of AWS networking resources using infrastructure as code. D to encrypt data transmissions between Amazon EC2 instances. The correct answer is A. To provide a dedicated network connection between an on-premises data center and AWS. Explanation. AWS Direct Connect is a network service provided by AWS that establishes a dedicated network connection between an on-premises data center and AWS, bypassing the public internet. Question 11. Which AWS service enables you to create a private, isolated section of the AWS cloud where you can launch AWS resources? A. Amazon EC2 B. Amazon VPC C. Amazon S3 D. Amazon RDS The correct answer is B. Amazon VPC Explanation Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, VPC, enables you to launch AWS resources into a virtual network that you define. It provides control over your virtual networking environment, including selection of IP address range, creation of subnets, and configuration of route tables and network gateways. Question 12. What is the purpose of AWS Lambda in serverless computing? A. To provide virtual servers on demand for running applications. B. To manage and orchestrate containers for deploying microservices. C. To automatically scale computing resources based on demand. D. 
to run code in response to triggers without provisioning or managing servers. The correct answer is D, to run code in response to triggers without provisioning or managing servers. Explanation. AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service that allows you to run code in response to events without provisioning or managing servers. You can upload your code to Lambda and define triggers such as changes to data in Amazon S3, updates to Amazon DynamoDB tables, or HTTP requests via Amazon API Gateway. Question 13. Which AWS service enables you to securely control access to AWS resources by creating and managing IAM policies? A. Amazon Cognito. B. AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM. C. Amazon Inspector. D. AWS Key Management Service, KMS. The correct answer is B, AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM. Explanation. AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM, is a web service that enables you to securely control access to AWS resources. With IAM, you can create and manage users, groups, and roles, and define permissions to allow or deny access to specific AWS resources. Question 14. What is the purpose of Amazon CloudWatch in AWS monitoring and observability? A. To manage and orchestrate containers for deploying microservices. B. To store and analyze log data generated by AWS resources and applications. C. To monitor and collect metrics on AWS resources and applications. D. To analyze network traffic and identify security threats. The correct answer is C, to monitor and collect metrics on AWS resources and applications. Explanation. Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring and observability service provided by AWS. It allows you to monitor your AWS resources and applications in real time by collecting and tracking metrics, setting alarms, and automating actions based on predefined rules. Question 15. What AWS service is primarily used for orchestrating and automating the deployment of infrastructure as code? A. AWS CloudFormation B. AWS Elastic Beanstalk C. AWS Code Deploy D. AWS Ops Works The correct answer is A. AWS CloudFormation Explanation AWS CloudFormation is a service that allows you to define and provision AWS infrastructure and resources using code. With CloudFormation templates written in YAML or JSON, you can describe the resources and their dependencies, and CloudFormation will create and manage those resources in a safe, repeatable, and automated manner. Question 16. What is the primary advantage of using Amazon S3 Glacier for long-term data archival? A. Low latency access to data for frequent retrieval. B. Highly durable storage with 99.9999999999% durability. C. Cost effective storage with flexible retrieval options. D. Near infinite scalability to accommodate large data volumes. The correct answer is C cost-effective storage with flexible retrieval options. Explanation. Amazon S3 Glacier offers cost-effective storage options for long-term data archival. While it may have higher retrieval times compared to Amazon S3 standard storage, Glacier provides significant cost savings for storing infrequently accessed data with flexible retrieval options such as expedited, standard, or bulk retrievals. Question 17. Which AWS service provides a scalable, fully managed messaging broker for building distributed applications? A. Amazon SQS B. Amazon SNS C. Amazon MQ D. Amazon Kinesis The correct answer is C. Amazon MQ Explanation 
Amazon MQ is a managed message broker service for Apache Active MQ and RabbitMQ that makes it easy to set up, operate, and scale message brokers in the cloud. Amazon MQ simplifies the provisioning, configuration, and management of message brokers, allowing you to focus on building distributed applications without managing infrastructure. Question 18. In AWS networking, what is the purpose of an AWS Direct Connect Gateway? A. To establish a dedicated network connection between AWS regions. B. To provide a single entry point for connecting multiple virtual private clouds, VPCs, to a Direct Connect connection. C. To manage access to AWS resources by creating and managing IAM policies. D. To route traffic between AWS and on-premises data centers using secure VPN connections. The correct answer is B. To provide a single entry point for connecting multiple virtual private clouds, VPCs, to a Direct Connect connection. Explanation. An AWS Direct Connect gateway allows you to connect multiple virtual private clouds, VPCs, to your AWS Direct Connect connection. It provides a single entry point for establishing and managing connectivity between your on-premises network and multiple VPCs in different AWS regions, simplifying network management and reducing costs. Question 19. Which AWS service enables you to build, train, and deploy machine learning models at scale? A. Amazon Redshift. B. Amazon SageMaker. C. Amazon Comprehend. D. Amazon Lex. The correct answer is B. Amazon SageMaker. Explanation. Amazon SageMaker is a fully managed service that provides every developer and data scientist with the ability to build, train, and deploy machine learning models quickly. It offers a variety of built-in algorithms, managed infrastructure, and tools for data labeling, training, and deployment, making it easy to integrate machine learning capabilities into applications without the need for specialized expertise. Question 20. Which AWS service provides a fully managed, scalable data warehouse solution for analytics workloads? A. Amazon RDS. B. Amazon DynamoDB. C. Amazon Redshift. D. Amazon Athena. The correct answer is C, Amazon Redshift. Explanation. Amazon Redshift is a fully managed, petabyte-scale data warehouse service in the cloud. It allows you to analyze large datasets with high performance using standard SQL queries. Amazon Redshift is optimized for data warehousing workloads with features such as columnar storage, parallel query execution, and automatic scaling. Question 21. What is the purpose of OSWAF, Web Application Firewall? A. To optimize the delivery of web content to end users with low latency. B. To encrypt data transmissions between clients and servers. C. To protect web applications from common web exploits and attacks. D. To monitor and collect metrics on AWS resources and applications. The correct answer is C, to protect web applications from common web exploits and attacks. Explanation. OSWAF, Web Application Firewall, is a web application firewall that helps protect your web applications from common web exploits and attacks, such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, and HTTP floods. With OSWAF, you can define customizable web security rules to filter and block malicious traffic before it reaches your applications. Question 22. Which AWS service provides a fully managed, scalable streaming data platform? A. Amazon SQS. B. Amazon SNS. C. Amazon Kinesis. D. Amazon MQ. The correct answer is C, Amazon Kinesis. Explanation. Amazon Kinesis is a platform for streaming data on AWS, offering capabilities to collect, process, and analyze real-time data streams at scale. 
It provides three main services, Kinesis Data Streams, Kinesis Data Firehose, and Kinesis Data Analytics, each tailored for different use cases such as real-time analytics, data processing, and data loading. Question 23. Which AWS service provides scalable, high-performance file storage for use with OS services and on-premises applications? A. Amazon S3 B. Amazon EBS C. Amazon EFS D. Amazon FSX The correct answer is C. Amazon EFS. Explanation Amazon Elastic File System, EFS, provides scalable file storage for use with OS services and on-premises applications. It allows you to create and configure file systems that can be accessed concurrently by multiple EC2 instances and on-premises servers, providing shared access to files and data across distributed systems. Question 24. What is the purpose of AWS organizations? A. To manage access to AWS resources by creating and managing IAM policies. B. To automate the deployment of AWS networking resources using infrastructure as code. C. To manage multiple AWS accounts and centrally govern policies across those accounts. D. To monitor and collect metrics on AWS resources and applications. The correct answer is C. To manage multiple AWS accounts and centrally govern policies across those accounts. Explanation. AWS Organizations is a service that enables you to centrally manage multiple AWS accounts and apply policies across those accounts. With organizations, you can create and organize accounts into groups, apply security policies, and automate account management tasks to simplify governance and compliance in your AWS environment. Question 25. Which AWS service is a fully managed graph database service for building applications that require highly connected datasets? A. Amazon RDS B. Amazon DynamoDB C. Amazon Redshift D. Amazon Neptune The correct answer is D. Amazon Neptune. Explanation Amazon Neptune is a fully managed graph database service provided by AWS. It enables you to build applications that require highly connected datasets, such as social networks, recommendation engines, and fraud detection systems. Question 26. Which AWS service is used for collecting, processing, analyzing, and visualizing log and event data from AWS services and resources? A. Amazon CloudWatch. B. Amazon Elasticsearch Service. C. AWS CloudTrail. D. Amazon Kinesis. The correct answer is A. Amazon CloudWatch. Explanation. Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring and observability service provided by AWS. It collects and tracks metrics, logs, and events from AWS services and resources enabling you to monitor the performance, availability, and operational health of your applications and infrastructure in real time. Question 27. What is the primary purpose of Amazon Aurora and AWS database services? A. To provide a scalable NoSQL database service for building applications that require low-latency data access. B. To offer fully managed relational database services compatible with MySQL and PostgreSQL. C. To enable real-time analytics and business intelligence with high-performance data warehousing. D. To provide a managed service for caching frequently accessed data in memory. The correct answer is B. To offer fully managed relational database services compatible with MySQL and PostgreSQL. Explanation. Amazon Aurora is a fully managed relational database service provided by AWS. It is compatible with MySQL and PostgreSQL, offering the performance and availability of commercial-grade databases at a fraction of the cost. Question 28. In AWS Security, what is the purpose of AWS Key Management Service, KMS? A. 
to protect against distributed denial of service DDoS, attacks. B. To monitor and analyze network traffic for security threats. C. To manage and secure cryptographic keys used for data encryption. D. To filter and block malicious web traffic to applications running on AWS. The correct answer is C. To manage and secure cryptographic keys used for data encryption. Explanation. AWS Key Management Service, KMS, is a managed service that allows you to create and control the encryption keys used to encrypt your data. KMS provides a secure and centralized key management solution, enabling you to easily encrypt and decrypt data stored in AWS services and applications, ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of your data. Question 29. What is the purpose of Amazon Elastic Beanstalk in AWS deployment and management? A. To provide a scalable and fully managed container orchestration service. B. To automatically scale computing resources based on demand. C. To enable easy deployment and management of applications in the AWS cloud. D. To run code in response to triggers without provisioning or managing servers. The correct answer is C to enable easy deployment and management of applications in the AWS cloud. Explanation. Amazon Elastic Beanstalk is a platform as a service, pause, offering from AWS that enables developers to deploy and manage applications in the AWS cloud without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. Question 30. Which AWS service provides a fully managed NoSQL database service that supports document, key value, and wide column data models? A. Amazon RDS. B. Amazon DynamoDB. C. Amazon Redshift. D. Amazon Neptune. The correct answer is B. Amazon DynamoDB. Explanation. Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service provided by AWS. It supports key value and document data models as well as wide column data models through the use of secondary indexes. DynamoDB offers seamless scalability, high availability, and low latency performance, making it suitable for a wide range of use cases, including web, mobile, gaming, and IoT applications.